for us, please. Mayor Durham. Present. Councilmember Moore. Present. Councilmember Severe. Present. Council Fox. Councilmember Fox. Present. Councilmember Williams. Present. All present, we have a quorum. All right, with the quorum present, I'll call this meeting to order. This is our regular scheduled meeting for May 12, 2016. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll start this meeting with a word of prayer and our Pledge of Allegiance. I'm going to ask that Battalion Chief Tad Methan lead us in a word of prayer. And uh, Mr. Severe, if you'll lead us in the Pledge afterwards. Let us pray. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we do thank you for today. God, just ask you, God, just watch over us today. God, just keep us safe. God, and I just thank you for this, uh, God, this good city. God, mm -hmm. for being so good to us here in Larchburg, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. God, just uh, may all the decisions made here today be, be good decisions and, and bring honor and glory to you. God, all these things I ask in your name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, gentlemen, in front of you, you got a copy of the minutes of the previous meeting. If there's no additions, changes, or deletions, I'll entertain a motion to approve those minutes. I got a motion to approve second. and a second. Uh, any discussion on the minutes? If you're in favor of approving the minutes, say aye. 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 Opposed, and the minutes are approved. Um, we've been doing this for, for a little while now. We got, uh, uh, we have the, uh, I guess, the, uh, I guess, being fortunate as a city, uh, having uh, employees who are long term with us. Uh, I saw an article in USA Today, I think it was about two weeks ago, about um, how companies are struggling to uh, retain employees, and and it's, it seems like with the uh, recognitions that we've been doing the past several weeks that we've uh, we got a pretty good track record with the city of Lawrenceburg. We've had 35, 35 year service uh, employees recognized, 30 years, 25 years, and 20 and 15 years, and so today we're doing the 15 years. Uh, employee recognition. These are people who work with the uh, city of Lawrenceburg between 15 and 20 years, <clears throat> and we've got a lot of them. So it, that in itself is a, is a is a feat. So uh, if you're here today, I'm going to call out your name, and if you'll meet me in front, I'll give you a uh, recognition certificate here. <coughs> Kids, Daniel, are you here? Sorry. He's off today. Ryan, Matt. <coughs> I saw Ryan. Edie. Stay up here. Oh. <coughs> Alan McNally, you know, there you are. Jeremy Johnson. Margaret. Where's Margaret at? That's here. She's on vacation. Good for her. Michael Hooper, where you at? Hooper's right here. Let's see, Trace Clark. Trace now. Right. William Staggs. Chris Schaefer. Jason Frakes. Jason Matt Newell. Listen, I had to do that because it's written on. That's the old man, mate. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Well, anyway, um, I really appreciate uh, your, your service to the city of Lawrenceburg. Uh, being here 15 years, uh, we've seen our ups and downs, and uh, it takes folks like you with the dedication that you have to, to make this city work. And uh, I speak on behalf of everybody in the city of Lawrenceburg, and I say thank you for your service to this city. I know it's uh, not. It's not the dream job to have, but listen, we couldn't do it without you. you know, you're great at what you do, and I appreciate all that you do. I think I would have to get y'all's picture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hold on, baby. Let's do something different, okay? Yeah. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to let you come down here, okay? You can come down here. Yeah, no, be sure of that. Come on down here. You can free, free. No, 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 just come on down here. Move on down there. I'm going to do the fireman. I'm going to do two shirts, two pairs. You gonna do two shoes? Yeah, I can't get everybody in. Don't come on down here. Fire. Fire right here, okay? Fire. Where's the fire? Right. Fire. Where? Huh? Honorary. 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 Honorary.
Uh, 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 Okay. One more time, that'd be it. Okay. Now y'all get out of the way. James, we got to move your knee, you okay? There you go, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, yeah, that's right. Okay. The Scots lights showing up on your shirt, your jersey. We can look back to one here and say, whose knee is that? Yeah. Okay. Y'all are gone, good guys. <laughs> All right, so we've got a lot of activities today, gentlemen, so we'll keep the meeting moving pretty quick. Uh, uh, immediately following the meeting, we've got a ceremony down at the uh, uh, auditorium at the police station. And uh, also we've got at 10 o'clock a uh, ribbon cutting for our uh, Mitzi Sweet Memorial uh, Park. That's our dog park that's been uh, uh, being constructed over the past fall and winter, and so I'm anxious to see that. So that's scheduled for 10 a.m. So got a, a good morning of events. Uh, Chris, I'm going to turn the table over to you for your business today. Thank you. Well, I'd like to make the recommendation for our next police chief to the mayor and the council. Uh, we've had a lot of good had a lot of good candidates for the position. Uh, did several interviews. Uh, very hard decision, but at this time I'd like to recommend Terry Beecham uh, to be Larkspur's new police chief. Okay. Uh, gentlemen, uh, you know, it's been a uh, process of interviews has been uh, taking place uh, uh, a lot of us were involved in the interviews and uh, so uh, Chris has come up with uh, Terry Beecham to be presented for us here today so I'm going to ask Joyce to call the roll if you're in uh, favor of uh, appointing Terry Beecham as our next uh, chief of police uh, will you indicate when your name is called by saying I if you do not will you indicate by saying no uh, Joyce you call the roll for us please Mayor Durham. Aye. Councilmember Moore. Aye. Councilmember Severe. Aye. Councilmember Fox. Aye. Councilmember Williams. Aye. All right, that sounds like a unanimous vote. Uh, Terry, where'd you go? Mr. Beecham, congratulations. Thank you. Save your speech for later. Thanks, after sir. The ceremony. I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> Man, a few words. Okay. Uh, Chris, uh, proceed. Uh, please. As you stated earlier, uh, in anticipation that we would have a favorable vote for Chief Beecham, we planned a ceremony at the auditorium at 9 o'clock or immediately following this meeting uh, for swearing in as well. Uh, also this morning for a department manager report, uh, as opposed to a department manager report, I've asked April Judkins to step in and inform us about some of the activities that will be going on in the square this weekend for the Heritage Festival. Um, we're ready for the Heritage Festival. The carnival actually starts tonight. It starts at um, around 5 o'clock. They've been set up since Sunday, working on being set up. And if you drove by there, you've seen them. We've dealt with the carnies all week, but it'll be worth it in the end because everyone loves the rides. And anyways, that starts tonight. Tomorrow night, the music starts at five o'clock. Um, it is the picking crew at five o'clock, and then the Kellys around six thirty, and then after that is the Dixie Melody Boys, who have never been here before, but they're a big gospel group. They're great. So um, bring your chairs and come out for that Friday night. Saturday morning, the vendors will be set up around 10. At 11 is J&B Tumbling in the gazebo. At 1 is the Art of Dance in the gazebo. <coughs> Starting at 3 is the, 
the music. It's the live music, and it's TMS, and the real go-getters is at 3. At 4.30 is Overdrive. <coughs> at 6 is Jeff Cullen Band, and then at 7.30 is Jacob Powell. He's our headliner, and everyone knows he's local. He's from here, and we're real proud of him. He's had a couple of new releases here lately, and he had the um, song Koozie. Put it in a koozie. I don't know if you listen to country music, but anyways, they, he, does, he does a good job. We're real proud to have him this year. We're not doing a 5K this year because it just got to be too much, and so we're just, we're not doing one this year. We're taking a little break from the 5K business. Um, bring your chairs, come out. There'll be lots of food, lots of arts and crafts vendor. It's ready to go. And um, I want to say a big thank you to Jerry and Beth and Vic and their teams because they've helped make things roll smoothly. I can't do it without all the help. So I just want to say thank you and I appreciate that. But we're ready to roll. I'm here to show this weekend. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's all I have. You don't have any more business? All right, gentlemen, on the uh, table for old business, we have a table resolution uh, concerning the uh, uh, pump stations for uh, Bobby Brewer Park and the Miracle Field. Is there any update on that before I ask to take this off the table? Yeah. Do we have a, we we asked for uh, to see if the gravity flow to a specific point in the series. Do you have some info on that? Bill? You know, we've ran two separate solutions to gravity flow, it, and because of the location of the field and the elevation and where we have to tie it onto, neither one of those will work gravity flow. So the the only way for us to make it work is to set the pump stations and pump it back to the force main along Wickland Creek. Uh, we, we tried to get it to tie into the gravity, but we need about 21 and a half feet of fall, and it's only got about 19 feet of fall. The state says you have to have a quarter inch per foot of slope on the line. Uh, we'd have to lay it flatter than that in order to get it to go gravity, and, and the state wouldn't approve that, and I'd have to send off some state approved plans, and I can't lay it any flatter than that. All right. Any, anybody have any questions uh, concerning that before I entertain a motion? You said something about running it to Weaker Creek Road. What would that do? See, there's a force main along Weaker Creek Road. So if we set the pump stations at the field, we just pump it back up to there. You still have to have the pump station. Yeah, we have to have pump station. So that's a, that's a force main. It's a pressurized line. You have to, you have to pump into that line. All right, gentlemen, since this is old business and this tabled, I'll need a motion to take it off the table. And or so it off. I have a motion to take it off the table for consideration. Do I have a second to that or any other motion? I second. I got a second to take it off the table mm -hmm. for consideration. And so uh, if you're in favor of taking this uh, resolution uh, into consideration, let it be known by saying aye. Uh, aye. aye. And opposed? And uh, now the question at hand is this resolution got <clears throat> on the table today. Mr. Betts, do you want to take over from here? Is that something to do? Mayor, it's a resolution for the Board of Mayor and Council to authorize <coughs> expenditure of over $8,000 for the city of Lawrenceburg's purchasing policy for the purchase of a pump station for Bobby River Park. Uh, <clears throat> funds to come from the 2013 bond issue, 99 9837 and since it's off the table, that's for your consideration today. Okay. Gentlemen, what's your pleasure on this resolution? Motion to approve. <clears throat> I've got a motion to approve. Second. And I've got a second. We'll bring it up to discussion if there's any discussion. It's, does the state mandate that it has to be 21 feet, or is that a, just a recommendation? The, 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 for the sewer service line, the state says it needs to be the slope of it needs to be a quarter inch per foot. So it's 1,037 feet from the bathroom to where we can tie onto that manhole. And the elevation for that distance, quarter inch per foot, is about 21 and a half feet of fall. We only have about 18.9 9, or 19. So that's just how the numbers work out. But that quarter inch per foot is a state recommendation of, of a sewer service lateral. If you lay one any flatter than that, you're going to have problems with, you're not going to have enough flow, you're going to start backing up the line, and 
building a half million dollar field, you're gonna be over there every, every every time you have a ball game with the sewer, with the sewer truck riding the line out because the lake too flat. Okay. I was asking that. That's still a pretty good fall, though. Do you not think it would still gravity flow? <laughs> no, when you start talking about ball fields and schools and places where you got kids flushing everything down toilets and putting things in it, I think if you laid it any, any flatter than a quarter inch per foot, you're going to have issues with it. Did you have somebody go out and physically measure that distance? Yeah. We went out and shot elevations and measured distances. Like I said, we tried two different ways. We we tried to grab it down to Bobby Brewer and tie it onto the concession stands in the bathrooms there. But there's going to be about 40 feet of the line that's above ground if you do it that way, or you're going to have to lay it nine or ten feet deep. And you don't want to do that to the ball field where you already have paving and everything else. The, this thing started out with one pump station, and then they've added bathrooms down at the field level, so we had to add a second pump station. So, you know, the, the original cost was just for one pump station. When we knew we had to add two pump stations, I went back to our vendor and explained the situation to him and got him to donate one of the pump stations. So we're getting two pump stations for the price of one. And I, I met the ballpark with Vic and uh, Red and some of his guys and I know Councilmember Fox, you know, at his request, they looked at several things. And again, I'm all for saving money. Um, and I appreciate Vic and his folks and all they did to look at it. Um, the reason I second the motion, I don't see any other way we, if we're going to get sewer there, then to do it this <coughs> way with a pump station. Gentlemen, we're going to have a state of the art facility there that uh, we don't need to worry about this issue I don't think uh, and we might even get uh, along the way somebody to donate the funds that, that we allocate for this this part of the project so uh, but uh, the, the Tommy Lee and his crew uh, made the decision to place restroom facilities I guess in the dugouts is that right Vic? Right. And, along with the uh, regular bathroom facilities for the visitors so uh, uh, that's, this is the approach that uh, everybody thinks we need to take and so uh, I think we need to go with it. My only concern about it after looking and, and having a couple of budget sessions is uh, and y'all seen the budget just as well as I have then where's this extra ten thousand dollars going to come from? It's coming from the 2015 bond. 2013, 2013 bond. bond. Any other discussion? That's good discussion, gentlemen. All right, seeing no further discussion, uh, if you're in favor of this resolution, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. And opposed, and that resolution is approved. Mayor, may we go back one to the area's financials? I didn't put it for March, but it's for March. Okay. Um, we'll just uh, let the minutes reflect that we do have a copy of LUS financials on file for the month of March, <coughs> and each of you should have already gotten a copy of it also. <coughs> Mr. Betts, I'll turn the table over to you for um, our legal business. And Thank you, Mayor. First matter is to take up the public hearing on Ordinance 1172. It's an ordinance to amend Ordinance 789 entitled the Zoning Ordinance of the City of Lawrenceburg. Uh, would anyone care to address the board concerning uh, the proposed zoning ordinance change 1172? see any discussion mr. mayor so the next matter uh, is to close a public hearing and take up consideration of ordinance 1172 it's an ordinance to amend ordinance 789 entitled the zoning ordinance of the city of Lawrenceburg Lawrenceburg municipal code title 14 chapter 2 14201 land used to be governed by zoning ordinance published as appendix 1 volume 2 of the Lawrenceburg municipal code article 7 Administration and Enforcement, Section 7.070C, Fees, Ordinance 778, Article 7, Section 7.030C, Fees, Ordinance 913, Article 7, Section 7.070, Variance C, Fees, Ordinance 1103, and to establish a schedule of fees for planning, zoning, and permitting. 
Public hearing has been held after proper advertisement, and this is here for second and final reading today. Motion to approve. I've got a motion to approve. Second. And a second. Uh, is there any discussion? All right, gentlemen, if you're in uh, favor of ordinance number 1172, let it be known by saying aye. 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 And opposed. <coughs> and uh, this ordinance is approved on second reading. Next, gentlemen, is Ordinance 1173, an ordinance to amend 1161 entitled Budget Appropriations of Revenue and Expenditures for the 1516 fiscal year for the City of Lawrenceburg. This is to authorize uh, uh, grant funds as revenues in the amount of 1980-53 and uh, purchase of safety equipment with those grant funds. That's here for second and final reading today. Motion to approve. Got a motion to approve. Second. Second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor of ordinance number 1173, let me know saying aye. 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 Opposed? And ordinance number 1173 is approved on the second reading. Next, gentlemen, is ordinance 1174. It's an ordinance to vacate and abandon a portion of Lakeview Drive in the Hood Hill subdivision, retention of utility easements, repeal of conflicting ordinances, and effective date. Uh, ordinance 1174 is at the request of the new property owners, Rick and Karen Lanning. Uh, to uh, close off a portion of Lakeview Drive that doesn't go to to uh, uh, it only services their property. Yes, yeah, services their property is what I was trying to say, Mr. Mayor, and it, it's at their request and it's for first reading today. All right, gentlemen, what's your pleasure on orders number 1174? Motion to approve. We've got a motion to approve. Second. And a second. We'll bring this to discussion if there is any. Seeing no discussion, if you're in favor of ordinance number 1174, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. And opposed? And ordinance number 1174 moves to second reading. Next is resolution of the Board of Mayor and Council of the City of Lawrenceburg to authorize Lawrenceburg Parks and Recreation to request bids for 400 cubic yards of IPMA certified playground mulch for playgrounds at Rotary Park. And that's for your consideration. Motion to approve. Got a motion to approve. Second. And a second. Uh, any discussion? Seeing none, if you're in favor of this resolution, say aye. 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 Opposed? And that resolution is approved. Next is resolution of the Board of Mayor and Council of the City of Lawrenceburg to accept the bid and enter into a contract with Poor Boys, Mo, uh, Poor Boys Lawn Care to mow Mimosa Cemetery at a bid price of $750 per mowing. Uh, and uh, that's for your consideration today. All right, gentlemen, what's your pleasure on this? Motion to approve. Okay, motion to approve. Second. And second. Bring it to discussion. I didn't have time. I've not taken the time to look at the contract. As far as though quality of mowing and things like that, is all that stated and per our approval? And we should, yes, we should okay. be able to uh, review their work and, so. and take necessary steps if it's not up to our standards. That's just this year, right? Just a, <coughs> a one year contract. This is the second time we bid this, and this bid was literally cut in half. Is that correct? Just about cut in half. Uh, the company that uh, Poor Boys, I think, bid on the the initial uh, thirteen hundred dollars, and they came down to seven fifty. And the other bid we had was one thousand. All right. Any further discussion on this? Seeing no further discussion, if you're in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? And that resolution is approved. Next, gentlemen, is a resolution for the City of Lawrenceburg mm -hmm. to enter into a lease agreement with Buffalo River Services for a property located at W.O. Smith Street, Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Uh, this is an annual renewal for Buffalo River Services. They've, gosh, I guess they've been here 25 years. At least. Well, at least. So uh, that's for your consideration. I got a motion to approve. Second. And a second. Any discussion on this? Seeing no discussion, if you're in favor of this resolution, let me know by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That resolution is approved. It's all business I have today. All right, gentlemen. Any other business for the city of Lawrenceburg? Seeing none, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. All right. This meeting is adjourned.